Hello students, welcome again. Students, in our previous video lectures, we discussed the contribution of Geoffrey Chaucer, John Gower, William Langland and so on. When we examine the whole 14th century English literature, which is also known as the age of Geoffrey Chaucer, we come across these names. Number one, Geoffrey Chaucer, who is the most important poet, the father of English poetry, also known by his work, The Canterbury Tales. We also remember John Gower, William Langland, John Barber, and John Wycliffe. So, in today's lecture, let's try to understand John Barber's contribution to English poetry. Basically, John Barber, who was born in 1316 and died in 1365, was not an English poet. Okay, He lived in Scotland and he has written poetry in Scottish language. Okay, He is thought to have written so many other works but uh, none of them are still ex are surviving in today's times. The only work that we have in today's times is Bruce, B-R-U-C-E. Now this poem is actually a very long narrative poem. You must have examined that during the 14th century, the poets like Langland, the poets like Geoffrey Chaucer, the poets like John Gower, they have written narrative poetry. So, during the 14th century, it was a fashion among the people, among the authors, the poets to write narrative poetry. So, Bruce by this man, John Barber, is also a long narrative poem written in 14,000 octosyllabic lines. Octosyllabic lines means what? One line has eight syllables, okay? That line is known as an octosyllabic line. So, whole poem, Bruce, 14,000 lines written in octosyllabic pattern, okay? This poem is also full of patriotism, romance and heroism, right? Why? Because it is written in an epic style. And it also narrates the story, the history, the recent history of Scotland. It is full of the spirit of independence of the Scottish people. Okay, And the main hero of this poem is Bruce, who is also considered as the national hero of Scotland. All in all, this poem is about the independence of Scotland is full of patriotism, love for the country. It is full of romance and heroism. So here we come to the end of this lecture. In our next lecture, we will also discuss uh, the contribution of John, John Wycliffe uh, in the next lecture. Thank you. Thank you very much.